<laughs> Talking about a roller coaster chat. Actual double chest. Actual double chest. I was memeing. Do we have a chest? We do have it. And it's purple. And it's purple. <laughs> No way! Oh boy! Oh boy! Talking about the chances for a chest. In this video, I'm about to show you how you can easily go from this to this in less than two hours with zero PvP whatsoever, even as a brand new player with zero spec. Have I sparked your interest? Well, check it out. Now, I'm doing this in Brazilian. Unlocking Brazilian is an objective that you should have as a solo player. If you don't have Brazilian unlocked, don't worry, my friend. I've got you covered. I'm gonna show you how to unlock Brazilian later on during this video. Now, if you have Brazilian unlocked, you wanna go to the Mists portal, the Unstable Mist portal, as I like to call it, and select Solo Lethal. Just go there and trust the process. You are gonna be making a lot. Now, once you get yourself in the mist, you wanna open the map and look for one thing, first of all. First of all, you wanna be looking for the camps. The camps are usually square structures. I mean, you're gonna get used to spotting them once you do a bunch of them. They usually look like this. Like, this is a camp, this is another camp. This could potentially be a camp, though I don't know if it is. And I think that's about all the camps that we can see right here. Now, you want to establish which camp you're going to first. Personally, I'm going to go to the bigger camp because those are almost always worth it, both in terms of the fame and in terms of the loot. While I go to the camp, I want to have this translucent map opened. To have this map open, you just have to press Shift N by default. So press Shift and N. If you are on the phone, as far as I know what you do, you take the minimap and you drag and drop it. Drag and drop it with your finger in the middle of the screen and that should do it. As I'm traveling over there, I'm looking for multiple different things. First of all, I'm looking for coffers, which are treasure chests that spawn and that don't alert everybody on the map, but just let you know if you are nearby, if there's a treasure uh, next to you. So they work very similar to the way crystal spiders work. I mean, oh, look at this. Perfect. That's actually awesome. So see, this was not uh, noticeable wait a second there's somebody over there so this uh, treasure just over there that was not showing on the map before i got to it it started to show on the map once i got close enough you want to be looking for stuff like this because this is just going to be extra profit now of course if you have low ip sets just like i do right here you don't really want to push this too much like you want to be careful and make sure that you're not risking it for example this person i could fight the bad luck person oh not this person the, the other person sorry the other person i could fight this person, mm -mm. I want to stay as far away from that person as possible. The other thing that you're looking for are crystal spiders, which show up on the map similar to how uh, the coffer that you've just seen spawns on the map. And the third and last thing that you want to be looking for, I mean, if you are in a common mist, uh, at least, if you're in an uncommon mist, there's an extra thing that you want to look for. But the next thing that you want to look for are the Nightfall Abbey dungeons, which as well show on the map, just like you've seen right now. If you are in an uncommon or higher, rarity wisp you want to start also looking for uh, bosses the fey bosses the fey dragons the griffins and stuff like that that drops the artifacts required to craft the new legendary armors those won't show up on the map those will show up or straight up on your screen like you are going to have to pay attention and try to spot them now let me give you some general tips for survival and then we're going to be getting into some gameplay the reason i want to focus more on tips than on gameplay is because the gameplay itself is just going to be me doing pve so the gameplay won't be the most engaging gameplay, so I might as well equip you with all the tools that you, dearest of adventurers, need to drive over here. And let's actually start with the Nightfall Abbey, since we've been so lucky to find one right over here. Alright, Nightfall Abbey. Once you enter, if you are in low tier, which you are, you want to position yourself anywhere besides the middle. You want to look for exits and try to position yourself between as many exits as possible. So doing content over here would not really be very good because this seems close but look at how much i have to travel to get there i have to go here then to go here then to go here here and then here it's pretty far away <laughs> it is pretty like it might you might actually be better off if you run towards this exit right there so this spot won't be the best for me i might still risk it but it won't be the best spot for me this spot is horrible for me since there is no exit if you have a high mobility build you could get around by uh, by going over Okay, you hear people fighting. You inspect them. Since you have very low IP gear, it's a good idea to almost never get into a fight. Like, you're not going to be able to survive any fight since you have low IP. But I just want to show you the tools that you need to build yourself the income that you need to be able to be the dude that I just inspected with full 8.3 sets. I don't think it was full, but still pretty decent uh, in terms of IP. More than decent. By the way, 
during this whole thing i'm not going to keep track of the raw silver i'm just going to be looking at the silver that i get from the mobs themselves one shotting mobs oh boy oh boy it's a green one it still might be more valuable than my than my gear and eh, not really <laughs> not really let's see this chat let's see this chat let's see this purple purple boy let's go boy let's go boy come on come on give me something good oh yeah oh yeah it wasn't even the best purple chest but i just want to say we've got the build covered right there now if you are a new player you go back and bank at this very second but i'm gonna push it a little bit more i want to see how much more i can actually make with this oh let's go oh <laughs> man what a roller coaster what a roller coaster <laughs> talking about the roller coaster chat my happiness went like oh chest oh green chest oh good green chest if that's not a roller coaster i don't know what is here comes the most annoying mob in albion online okay there's a player over there let's assess the situation a little bit so i have an exit over there he's not gonna be able to catch me he sprints i start sprinting as well does he have a punch? He does not have a punch. He cannot stop me. He literally cannot stop me right now. He has a ton more mobility than I do. And I kind of messed up the pathing and stuff like that. But as you can see, if you are aware, even if you're not fully aware, like I was not fully aware, I messed up my pathing, this guy, if he didn't mess up as well, he could have really caught me over there. But yeah, he, he really messed up as well. He's not going to be able to kill me. Like, you need to be aware of what your opponent can actually do. This guy can not stun me, as he does not have the stun W. He does not have burst damage. He has an anti-dot, which I don't really need to worry about that much. I mean, I do have dots, but at the same time, it's not the biggest deal. And he had Assassin Jack. So nothing that can kill me quickly, besides one thing, the IP difference. He did have 400 more IP than I did. Oh, what, 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 what? A blue chest? What, 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 what? I know that might not seem like much, but that just covers the cost of the build right there, straight up. Come on, please die! Okay, nice. Come on. Actual double chest! Actual double chest! I was memeing! But we actually got a double chest! <laughs> Let's go! 900k! I don't want to consume anything. Let's see, let's see, maybe I get a better bag here. Ah, I kind of healed at the wrong moment, but it's good. Oh, it can be. Look at this. It's a blue chest. <laughs> I'm getting some really good luck over here, chat. 121k. Man, I hate this boss. Stupidly strong because it has a dot on you, which really messes you up. But at least it's not the, the toughest part of this. Like, it's not the spiked boss, which would make this much, much harder to do. So that that's actually great. Let's see. Do we have a chest? We do have it, and it's purple, and it's purple, <laughs> no way, no way, 400k, okay, I need to swap my passive, look at this, look at this, look at this, oh, it's a green one, man, I don't know, might still be good, so let's not lose uh, excitement, plus it's free silver, come on, be good, come on, please be good, it's actually not bad, oh boy, oh boy, talking about the chances for a chest, <laughs> oh boy, I think it's like 1 in 10. Oh, what? No way. No, this guy is so lucky, man. No way on earth. No way. No way. This spawns... Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Yoinked! Let's go! Ch oh, he's coming back, I think. Yeah, he's back. Oh, no, he back. Oh, no, he back. But you know what's uh, the good part, chat? There was another chest lying, laying over there. So I'm actually going to go for that one chest li laying over there. Look at this! <laughs> we got it! Got him! <laughs> <laughs> got him 
And it's not that bad, actually. 64k for a green chest. I'm not gonna complain about this. Right, boys. Shenanigans over. So let's see how much we've made. After spending about two hours in the mist, doing whatever content came up, except PvP. I tried to actively avoid PvP. We've made 2.5 million silver. 2.5 million silver with a build that realistically costs me only 11k with all the consumables and everything add in amount it's about 25k at most at most however i strongly suggest to bring an armored horse even though i didn't need it at all this run you never know when you need it but even with the armored horse we've uh, we've made a ton of money i don't even know to how to calculate this exactly but we've we've got so much profit that it's actually hard to calculate and i want to tell you and everybody in chat can confirm this this is the average experience in the mists especially when we're talking about the nightfall abbey but finding the nightfall abbey can be quite a hard quest in itself so if you want to know how to find the nightfall abbey check out this video right here or maybe you are looking for certain specific builds that you want to do this with i've been using this build right here which i showcased in different videos in the past if you're looking for multiple options that video will get you covered as well watch us play live on twitter twitch.tv slash mockdown this video was made possible by our amazing channel members if you want to support by becoming a channel member yourself you are going to get access to amazing emotes that you can use in the comment section or during live streams member only polls and lots of other awesome perks shout out to all of you awesome badasses thank you so much for supporting us